everybody. Now, let me introduce our presenter today, Sharon Donovich, the Senior Product Marketing Manager of Connit Digital. Okay, please, Sharon, you can start your presentation now. Hello, everybody. So today we are going to uh, present you the micro factory and all the concepts that are associated with um, the way that the, the future is going to look and how Cornet printing solutions are the right way and every, where everybody needs to be. Um, if we're talking about uh, traditional textile uh, production, this is a process that involved many steps uh, which some of you may uh, be familiar with, some of you may not. And I would like to uh, describe you how the uh, workflow of the current traditional production it looks like. So the workflow of the classic textile printing involves many, many steps. Here in this example, we see about eight steps that will take uh, from the design until we have uh, the final garment, the, the finished goods. Uh, we, we will start with actually designing, designing the textile itself, designing the product that we want to print and uh, sew and get at the, at the end. Then we need to take care of the textile itself. Uh, in many cases, uh, textiles need to be uh, pre-treated um, and uh, some, of the, uh, some of the processes will uh, also require sampling process. So uh, moving to the printing process, uh, you will need probably to print a sample, send it back to the designer, get the approval, or redo this step again in order to uh, get the appro approval for the printed, uh, gar printed fabrics. From the printing process, you will need to apply fixation to the uh, printed fabric uh, in order to get the vibrancy, the right color in, no, in order to get the um, uh, washability uh, and fix the actual ink into the fabric itself. Then the next process is to wash the fabric. This uh, is needed because there is a lot of excess uh, of uh, consumables on the fabric itself and we want to make sure that we get all the, uh, the right hand fill and uh, uh, remove the excess uh, consumables. From there, the roll is uh, actually need to be dried. Uh, a drying process is applied, and then the fabric is actually ready to be cut. Uh, cutting is uh, another step in the process itself, uh, which then allows you to take the cut pieces and move it to the sewing station. Only after that, you will get the finished good. Uh, these steps can uh, take uh, several weeks in, uh, in the best case scenario and sometimes it can take also uh, months. It also means that uh, doing this kind of, uh, of uh, steps is more uh, beneficial and more uh, cost effective when you're doing um, mass production, when you're doing many, uh, many uh, parts, uh, many, uh, uh, many pieces when it comes to something that you uh, want to have uh, small quantities, then it becomes very cumbersome. From there, we're talking not only about the fact that it is time consuming uh, and that uh, it requires a lot of labor and uh, a lot of equipment, but also about the fact that uh, it's also in terms of sustainability, uh, uh, pose many issues. The processes that involved in the uh, printing itself, like the fixation, like the drying and washing, are uh, very polluting processes. Uh, a amount, a uh, excessive amount of water is being applied uh, when uh, uh, you're use, actually uh, using uh, washing and steaming. Um, the consumables that you need for that are also uh, very polluting. And of, of course, that the drying process consume a lot of uh, power and uh, electricity. 
uh, the cutting and sewing uh, parts are also uh, posing poor working condition and uh, a lot of uh, labor that uh, is um, put into those uh, areas. So all together we see that uh, those processes are uh, time consuming, uh, very um, uh, labor intensive and a lot of equipment is needed. Uh, the consequences is, as I mentioned, pollution uh, and uh, poor working conditions. Uh, we, we are aware and we know that today uh, governments and uh, the, um, the public opinion about those uh, issues are uh, very strict. Uh, people are aware of, the, of these issues and they are, uh, want to have a more uh, sus sustainable processes and uh, the, the, the social conscious of those areas are in, uh, in, high, uh, in high place of uh, importance. So that takes us to the concept of micro factory. And so what is actually micro factory? We're talking about a highly compact textile production facility that focuses on the value generating automated production connected with the internet, digitization, and personalization. We know that the fact is that today everything is become digital, okay? We know that everything is uh, being uh, connected to the internet. This concept is the way that we believe the future will look like. So we think that it's not only a dream. We believe this is not only a theory and that the micro factory is actually something that is going to become more and more popular. What does the micro factory actually allow us? It allows us the production, the very efficient production of small quantities, but also large quantities, but that are being produced in uh, a more efficient uh, way. It is the reality, and it is the reality with the Cornet Allegro. Why the Cornet Allegro is the, uh, the right solution for this micro factory? Cornet Allegro actually eliminates the processes that we just described before all the polluting uh, processes that were mentioned before, like the fixation, like the uh, washing, like the steaming, are eliminated when you're using the Cornita Allegro. Cornita Allegro is a, a device, is a system that requires only printing to in order and drying in order to get a finished fabric. You can put an a, a, fabric, a roll that does not require pretreatment, print on that whatever uh, design that you would like to get. The quantity can be as small as you want uh, and the uh, results that you get are finished uh, fabric that can be actually cut and sew immediately. You do not need to take the fabric and put it into the processes that we uh, described before. So how will the micro factory will look like when we're talking about uh, uh, Cornet uh, solution? We are describing a micro factory that can actually take all the processes and squeeze it to a much uh, a more efficient manner. You take a 3D design that allow uh, the designer and the customer to understand how it really looks like translated to a 2D pattern that already have all the cutting marks, all the information that is needed for the cutting itself and for the sewing itself, printed on the Allegro with no need, again, for fixation, no need for, um, for um, steaming, no need for uh, washing, dry it with the same, uh, with the same system because the printer and the dryer are completely attached and then um, cut it and sew it. 
So all the process all together is um, very short um, and uh, again, less operator are needed and the, uh, the products are uh, with, uh, we, we need uh, less ink, no polluted water, and uh, uh, the process is, itself is a dry process. So we, we saved several processes, and if we look at the uh, ability to print and dry in uh, one single step, this is something that uh, it does not exist in any other way of, uh, of uh, printing. So, if we compare the classic way of the workflow, uh, uh, we do believe that uh, we save a lot of, uh, of uh, processes in the way. Uh, you can go directly from the design to the textile, print and dry in one step, cut and sew, okay? Uh, and this allows you to make it in a much quicker way and uh, in a much more efficient way with no waste and no, uh, and no uh, polluting. Uh, Cornet have several, uh, several par partners uh, that are um, uh, actually uh, doing uh, CAD and uh, 3D uh, uh, 3D uh, uh, mock-up of the 3D simulations of the printed uh, printed garment, printed uh, product itself, uh, and uh, you can uh, take the designs and actually adjust them uh, in the 3D simulation. So if there is a, a certain uh, product, you can see how it will look like, uh, the design itself, how many times you would like to step and repeat, or how many times you would like to actually uh, um, enlarge it or uh, make it smaller. And uh, these uh, 3D software partners uh, allow us uh, to help our customers to make it uh, a reality uh, for them. In the next, uh, in the next uh, slide, we, we will see uh, a video that uh, will allow you to understand better how the, the process uh, looks like. Uh, this is a micro factory show at uh, Heim Textile, which is a show in uh, Germany. So the next slide is showing a video. <laughs> least um, a micro factory uh, with integration of the Allegro actually meets all the current trends. So what are the trends that we are talking about? We're talking about individualization, individualization okay? People want to be individualized, they want to have personalized uh, garments, personal textiles, and even have to print their own design, okay? By loading them via web shops and order online. 
So this is something that we see uh, that is growing today. People do not want to wear and have whatever everybody has, but they want to be unique. Uh, another trend that we see is the uh, small production quantities. Uh, today, um, we, uh, we see that people do not want to hold large amount of inventory. They want to print only uh, um, the, the um, garment or the product that were ordered. And digital printing actually enables small production quantities. Uh, then you print only what is, was actually uh, printed and with every color and every design that you, you would like. And of course, you don't have the risk of having inventory that will be uh, obsolete uh, uh, very quickly. Uh, the fast delivery time allows you uh, fast production workflow, uh, eco-friendly uh, factories uh, that can be actually located in uh, proximity production in areas that are uh, located near to the customer itself. Um, sustainability is again a very important uh, factor to people are looking to uh, have uh, less co uh, water pollution um, and uh, the China and Eastern, U Eastern Europe regulation and uh, places uh, like uh, United States are very uh, keen of having uh, or demanding certain uh, sustainability factors. And uh, the last one is the backshoring or uh, proximity production that we are talking about, meaning that if you are actually producing clothes uh, to home, uh, this is another uh, huge trend that we are seeing today and allow you to, be, uh, to, to get much faster delivery uh, times. Uh, the, 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 the digital printing is something that uh, backing all these uh, all these uh, trends. Uh, we're talking about micro factory influencers, uh, people that uh, have Instagram, uh, YouTube channels uh, with uh, many fan followers uh, that actually creates the demand. Uh, people are looking at them, understand uh, where the fashion is going, where the trends are going. Uh, people like uh, skateboarders, uh, surfers, um, sport athletes that have their own fashion brand. So the, uh, the social media allow us to, uh, to uh, become uh, familiar with uh, uh, what other people are doing uh, and uh, uh, as well as uh, people that are uh, the growing uh, demand today uh, for DIY, people that uh, uh, want to design their own patterns, they uh, sew their own, uh, their own uh, um, clothes or even sell them in, in uh, channels like uh, Etsy uh, and other um, uh, places that are enable um, small brands uh, but uh, that are uh, very uh, easily uh, published on social media uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, etc. So all those micro influencers also contribute to the fact that uh, micro factory and the small quantities production becoming larger and larger. So we, we actually see a paradigm shift. What does it mean? It means that uh, the, uh, the, the, the people are now in the center. In, instead of um, uh, doing uh, uh, supply chain that is uh, activated by the production, we see that today uh, the production is being uh, activated by the uh, person itself, by the uh, purchase. So we like to call it uh, purchase activated production. What does it mean? In, it means that in, instead of uh, production and then supply, uh, there is all First, the demand, and only then the production. First, people will pay for that, what they are buying, and only then there will be the production will start to happen. This 
uh, requires the ability to be agile. This requires the ability to produce just in time and not in advance. So uh, this paradigm shift is again talking about purchased activated production. The reverse of the supply chain from supply and demand to demand and supply. And this is becoming a huge uh, factor in, uh, in uh, fashion today. Um, so the essential uh, element is, of course, to be able to have it right here and right now. This is what is being demanded by the uh, people. This is by the, uh, being demanded by the consumer. Um, Cornetis uh, uh, focus in customers' uh, requirement and microfactory is uh, becoming uh, a large part of Cornet uh, customers' base and Cornet ability to have all-in-one solution is, uh, is uh, a key factor for them. Uh, some examples of Cornet customers, um, Alice for uh, some macher is a Germany-based uh, customer, uh, which uh, are selling uh, accessories for DIY and sewing. Um, it has an online shop, uh, but also a physical store in Hamburg. And uh, uh, the most important thing is, of course, that uh, it has uh, followers in Facebook, which actually are the ones that activate all these um, all this uh, purchasing uh, activated production. So first they see uh, what is available, they follow, they understand what are the possibilities, and this gives them the ideas what they actually can do. Uh, we, we, we will see now a short video uh, of uh, this customer and uh, its pro uh, the product that they produce. Another customer of Cornet is Spoonflower, based in USA, but also with a branch in Europe. You, Spoonflower is actually uh, a huge uh, printer. Uh, they print on fabrics, different type of fabrics, using the Allegro. They also have um, wallpapers, gift wraps, and they have two uh, additional websites that allow you to get uh, printed uh, home decor, uh, like uh, uh, pillows and also uh, uh, patterns that you can uh, sew uh, that are cut and you can sew uh, f uh, actual um, garm uh, product suite uh, which is called Sprouts. Rooster Roostery is the one that you can uh, use for home textile so you can choose from uh, hundreds of or thousands of options uh, and then you get the um, cut pieces and you can actually sew your own uh, pillows and uh, in Sprout you can actually select a pattern and choose a design. The designs are all uploaded by, uh, by uh, uh, Spoonflower um, uh, designers, makers. Uh, you can customize it. Uh, uh, you can see what pieces you will get, and uh, you will uh, the, the pieces will be printed by Spoonflower, uh, cut, and then uh, you can uh, and then you can cut and sew it at home. So this is very very become very very popular, uh, and um, uh, people like to do that and uh, get uh, and do it by themselves. Um, uh, they can select it, of course, everything is online uh, and you can adjust it uh, according to your own uh, needs. Uh, in the next slide, uh, we will also see a movie that describes uh, um, cooperation between uh, Spoonflower and Burda. Burda is one of the largest um, uh, designers of, uh, of patterns for uh, the DIY. Uh, very, uh, very uh, known in the world and very established. And the cooperation with Burda, between Burda and Spoonflower, allow customers to have the, uh, the pattern from Burda 
with the designs that uh, the thousands of the designs that are available uh, uh, in spoon flower. Uh, of course, spoon flower. The unique uh, uniqueness of this uh, model is that spoon flower does not hold any printed fabric and have all the uh, designs available online and those are being printed only when somebody is actually uh, purchasing uh, the fabric and only then printed like I mentioned before purchase activated production that allow micro factory and uh, is the future that we believe uh, uh, that is going to happen and allow the um, answer all the trends that are uh, rising today in the uh, fashion and home decor markets. Uh, the next slide is, as I said, uh, uh, another video of this capability. These versatile patterns are now available in a way that allows you to get to the sewing faster than ever before through sprout patterns our digital patterns are printed directly onto custom spoon flower fabric. You have a library of spoon flower fabric to choose from at your fingertips, including solids or prints designed by Berta Style. The options are endless, and if you choose coordinating prints or solids for the same design, they're all printed together in the same yardage. The pieces are already on grain, bias pieces are already placed, and you can cut out your pattern while sitting on the couch. No flat surface needed. Here's how it works. Step one, choose your Berta style pattern from the Sprout Patterns website. Step two, design your garment using the fabric types and designs from Spoonflower. Step three, review the 3D rendering of your garment and approve it. Step four, add the pattern to your cart and complete your purchase. With the printed fabric, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions and a bonus video to walk you through the trickiest technique. Try a Berta style pattern today at SproutPatterns.com and see just how easy it is. Factory, Cornet Solution, the trends that we see today at the market and the challenges that we are overcoming with the ability to, to do this micro factory, the ability to print digitally any design, any fabric without the need to pre-treat it in advance or post-treat it afterwards, and the ability to have really proximity production with purchased enabled production. Thank you very much.